Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Wastick. I am a KSEF alum from 2013. Um, I am currently a sophomore at the University of Delaware studying biochemistry and neuroscience. And basically I was asked to relay my experiences from KSEF and ISEF and also to give any advice or tips and tricks to people who are interested in science fair. So um, I'll start with my experiences with research first. Um, so I started research in my junior year of high school. Um, my freshman and sophomore year of high school, I really wanted to work in a lab, but if you go to Penn State Medical Center, those um, spots are reserved for upperclassmen. So I worked two years in volunteering, and then I volunteered for a year in the lab that I was about to work in. Um, but if anyone has ever volunteered in a lab, you know that you don't get to do a lot of different things. So um, I asked the PI or the boss of the lab, Dr. Gavin Robertson, if I could be um, kind of promoted into an internship and luckily he said yes. So I worked at the Penn State Melanoma Center and I was placed under my mentor, now Dr. Uh, Greg Cardos, and I was working on a project that dealt with gene inhibition. So um, the title of my project that I presented was Discovering a Metabolic Weakness in Melanoma Through Targeted Gene Inhibition, and just a little summary about that. Um, so what I did was isolated a gene expression and then used a short interfering RNA to inhibit its expression. And when you inhibit the expression of a gene, all of its downstream components that it's responsible for synthesizing were also no longer able to be um, synthesized. So that um, proved to be detrimental to cancer cells and they decreased viability and proliferation by a significant amount. Uh, but what made this project special was that normal cells, fibroblasts that we want to keep healthy, were not significantly affected by the same treatment. Um, so one of the main problems with chemo or radiation-based therapies that's used to treat cancer right now is that they have a lot of patient side effects. Um, so what my research was showing is that maybe moving away from these side effects and leaving the patient in the forefront by leaving them relatively unharmed. Um, so that was a project that I worked on for around two years. Um, so I worked on that the summer before my senior year before presenting. And that was a really, really great experience. Um, so I was placed in during my school year, but that didn't, I mean, you can't really research that much during your school year. So during the summer is when I got the bulk of my time done. And um, my mentor was really great in that he let me do um, a lot of the experiments alone, which means I made a lot of mistakes, which is what research is supposed to be for. You know, you're making mistakes, but you have to learn and grow from them. So um, I did that for the whole summer. And then my, mentor, my PI actually, suggested that I present my work at KSEF because it seemed like it was going well. And that was the first time I ever heard of KSEF actually, was the end of my junior year summer. So during my senior year, I worked on it. Unfortunately, I was only able to participate in KSEF for one year. Um, so my senior year, I worked on that project during the school year, and that was really, really time consuming. I think everyone who's um, participating in KSEF before knows how big of a time commitment it, it is, but it's so worth it. Um, so I, I put together all the materials, um, I practiced my speech a lot, um, I looked up all the background materials and I presented, and I, that was great. That was my first experience in an academic outside fair. Um, my school isn't really involved with that type of thing, so um, that was just heaven to me, basically seeing all those projects and presenting. Of course, I was really nervous, but I think everyone gets really nervous um, when they're presenting something that they care about a lot. Um, so then there, I was lucky enough to be awarded grand, uh, grand champion. And then we went to Intel ISEF, which in 2013, that was held in Phoenix, Arizona, also my first time in Phoenix, Arizona. So I was, everything was just super exciting to me at all times <laughs> during that period of time. Um, so I went to Intel ISEF, and Intel ISEF is like KSEF times 100, basically. You see all these people from um, different countries around the world. I met people from Korea, China, um, Pakistan, Iraq, Iran, and I got to talk to them. And they were interested in what I was doing, and I was interested in what they were doing. And um, from a cultural standpoint, it doesn't get any better from Intel, than Intel ISEF. So um, I presented there for basically two whole days. So Intel ISEF, the first half of it, it's straight fun. We went to baseball games, we um, did touring around Sedona, um, we just met with other people, talked about science and fun things like that. And then the, um, the 
second half of the trip is all presenting, which was equally fun to me because presenting science doesn't, it's pretty much living the dream. <laughs> so um, we presented our work to about 15, I think I presented to about 15 different judges, 15 minute presentation each. So um, a lot of talking, um, a lot of hard questions about why you did the things you did and how you would improve on them if you could go back and do it again. So one of the most important things is, is, is that you actually do the research because if you're not doing the research and they start asking questions, it becomes very obvious that you don't know what you're talking about. So make sure that you're as involved as possible and that you're very well versed on your background information. So that took um, Judging with uh, the official judges was for a whole day, and then we went to the public day where a lot of students from neighboring um, high schools and middle schools came and looked at our projects, and then a lot of parents, if they wanted to fly down there, they could at that time and look at the competition. So um, then at the end of ISF, we had the grand award ceremony, which um, I wasn't expecting anything, you know, my first year in science fair in general, but... Again, I got super lucky and um, very honored with first place and best in category in cellular and molecular biology. And um, it was actually super great that year because KSIF also had a first place winner in Bradley Sloop who made a windmill and um, some type of engineering, I don't remember. But that was really great. And I think I screamed at the top of my lungs and like really ran up stage and almost cried. So <laughs> that was the best moment of my entire life. Um, so then after that, um, since I was a grand award winner, I was actually awarded the Dudley Herbosch Award, and that allowed me to go to Sweden to see the Nobel Prizes. So that was absolutely magnificent experience. I just went in December of 2013, so I was in college then. And um, I got to meet all the laureates, um, talk with them, drink champagne with them. Um, I got to go to the Nobel Prize ceremony, the banquet beforehand, and then the Nobel nightcap afterwards. I spent about 10 days in Sweden. Um, so that was the most inspiring experience of my entire life, I think. Um, a lot of people ask me, how do you get into a lab or how do you get a project? Like, how did you think of that project to do? And um, so what I can say is the best thing you can do is start early. You know, I started basically when I was in my freshman year of high school trying to get into a lab. And, you know, I, I built up a lot of um, contacts and connections within uh, Penn State Med Center um, so that I could be placed in a lab. And so, I mean, you don't have to go through it that way if you're a junior in high school right now and you're like, oh, no, it's too late for me. It's not too late for you. You can still get in a lab. Um, but just this is just the path that I chose to go. And so... Starting early in a lab, make sure that you get your bearings and that you know what you're doing so you don't have to waste as much time with failed experiments. I mean, experiments are going to fail, but you want them to fail in the right way. Um, so I would say start early and then get into a really good lab and have a mentor that allows you to do as much as possible. Um, so you might not think of the project that you're about to be presenting. Maybe you didn't like think about it in biology class and you're like, oh, you know what? I should inhibit this specific gene and it'll probably be really good for cancer treatment. I mean, no, that's not what I did. And that doesn't really hurt you. I was honest with the um, the judges at KSF and ISF that I was given this project, but um, I kind of made it my own and that seemed to be fine. You know, they know that you know, you're in a high school student, you're not going to be able to formulate all these really great ideas by yourself. Um, so be open to any type of project that you are given and then just make it your own. Just own anything that um, they give you. So it's going to require a lot of time. I came in on countless numbers of weekends. I worked a lot through the evenings a lot of times. So just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into and that you're really interested in it or else it's gonna make it just a um, really painful process. Um, so then my advice for KSEF would be to um, really practice your speech and have your uh, research information in the back, and your background research information. Uh, you d definitely need to know that solid because um, believe it or not, probably my toughest interview was at KSEF in comparison to ISEF and even when I presented my work in Sweden. Um, I got the hardest questions um, and like the most thought-provoking uh, different ideas at KSEF, so don't underestimate the judging process there. Um, 
but also have fun, <laughs> you know, you're there for, you put all that work into it, you might as well have some fun while you're there, and then, um, okay, so my advice for ISEF would be to not become overly intimidated by the number of projects that you see, um, ISEF is huge, um, I don't remember the exact number, but it's something like 1,700 different projects there from like 70 different countries, I mean, everyone there when I walk through basically either cured cancer, cured melanoma, um, cured malaria, or some type of deal like that, and that's really intimidating, and um, my advice to get over that is to go to try to at least go to every single project in your category and um, by yourself, not with them in front of it, because everyone wants to sell their own project. So go um, while you're setting up or something like that and read through everything that they did and know like what type of competition you're up against because you want to be able to sell yourself as different from everyone else. That's what attracts the judges. So if you're selling a story that is the same as what someone else is selling it as, you're going to have to change it up. So I would say go to everyone's um, project and know what um, pretty much a good baseline of what the what they're doing and so that you can highlight things that you did better and also downplay things that you didn't do as well. And so that when you um, go to present to the judges, um, you know what they'll be looking for. Um, I think that was the most helpful thing that I did during the trip. Um, and then my advice for just science in general is to just not give up. I mean, that's so cliched. Everyone always says it. But I was in a place um, during the science fair um, application process where I just thought it was too much. I didn't, I wanted to give up. There wasn't, nothing was really working out. I wasn't, I didn't feel like I was going to be validated for my efforts. And that's the number one problem. You're not, you shouldn't feel like you're doing this so that you're going to be validated. After a while, I decided that I couldn't send this in my college applications. It was too late. I mean, I was already a senior. So... I, did, I decided later to just do this for myself, and after that, everything just came together beautifully. So make sure that this is something that you want to do for you, and um, if you find at the end of it that research isn't for you and that you don't like it, that's perfectly fine. I mean, it's good to experience as many things as possible to know what you do want to do in life, and if maybe you realize that maybe wet lab isn't it, and you want to do policy, you want to do medicine, well then that's great. You figured out something that you want to do in your life, which is a lot better than some people can say. Um, so if anyone needs any advice, or just wants to ask me a question on the process, or judging, or anything like that, I'll leave my contact information in the description. You can feel free to email me with anything. And um, I want to say good luck to everyone that is participating in KSEF or maybe ISEF in the future. Um, you're doing a really great thing. Um, it's basically the coolest thing that I've ever done. So maybe um, hopefully you'll feel, share that sentiment. So good luck with everything. And I'll talk to you all later.